Okay, folks, we got this one set up in the, uh, the old stall here. Uh, see if we can get that top stall off of this one. We'll just sit here and let it eat a while. Okay, folks, we're moving right along, but if you look at the, uh, the distance here, compared to the distance that we've got to cut, I don't know if we're going to make it or not. Okay, we're about to run out of room here. Okay, I just took a hammer and knocked it right off of there. We got the, that part off. I don't know if this rip is going to come off too easy or not. We'll see. Oh, yeah. That'll work. All right. Now we've got quite a bit of machining to do to get it down to the to the base. Okay, I'll show you one more thing here we figured out. These are not pressed in or anything like they are on the, the Myers because the bolt goes all the way through into the bottom. You can see one broke off and part of this is gone. So that leaves us with bigger holes, but <laughs> a mess. Uh, but we're not going to quit. We're going to, uh, we're still going to machine this off. We're still going to have enough surface here. I mean, there's no doubt about it that, you know, there'll be enough to, uh, to get, you know, get this level and, and get it where there's a, a gasket on it. As long as we don't get too far into the cylinders and, you know, they're a little, quite a little ways down. So I think we're still going to be okay. Uh, but this thing is definitely a rusty mess. But I don't want to give up on it. It's got, it does have copper sleeves in there for the cylinders. And, uh, I mean, they're in good shape. Uh, you know, there's, there's, we don't want to give up. That's one thing we're not going to do. We'll keep on pushing on this thing until we, we'll get it machined down. And, until we get a surface on it of some kind. And then we can get us a plate made for it. And, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, probably use a thick plate maybe half inch something like that uh, and I may have to groove the plate over for the exhaust port uh, you know of course this is going to be pressure in one side and pressure in the other side of each piston this will be one side and this will be one side but uh, and you know they can't tie together because you know of the timing issue and uh, you know, it's it's just gonna it's just gonna take quite a bit of work, but we've got I'm sure we've got enough here. Uh, you know, all we've got to do is seal these apart from each other, and then you know seal everything off. So if this was my only real worry, and there's there's a good wall in there, and uh, you know I think that we can we can do that, and uh, you know if we have to we can we can drill and tap it with some small bolts and just put a lot in it, and. Uh, one way or the other, we are going to get this taken care of. I'm probably going to mount this up on the horizontal mill. And uh, I don't have any kind of milling head at all. You know, I've got some end mills. And, you know, I think that uh, we can stack some cutters together on it, on the horizontal or just, you know, use one cutter and let it cut and move over. We'll do something. We'll figure it out. And I could, you know, I can hit it with the grinder first and get some of this down to to help out make it go a little quicker uh, you know this being cast and you know a good rough grinder disc will will take it right down and uh, but I believe that we're going to be okay we're not going to stop until there's no other options so uh, maybe my next one I do won't quite be so rusty but uh, you know it is what it is and you know we're we're going to keep at it until something something gives here all right show you more later okay folks we're about halfway through with it i uh, just want to show you what we got we got some pretty heavy pits here uh i don't think it's gonna be a problem i mean i can still get it to seal off uh you know we got a fire surface it ain't nothing great but we will uh like i said we'll go back over it and uh i'll lay out a big piece of uh belt sandpaper on a level table and then I'll I'll just slide it you know back and forth to get it get it how we want it and uh, we can go just a little bit more and get it cleaned up 
cleaned up good. Uh, it looks you like can it's going to work we, out fine. We came pretty close to, to our pieces here, which is not a big deal. And it looks like they've done a real good job brazing that. Uh, you know, I'm not sure what we're going to do on that end yet, but we'll figure that out as we go. We just did clear them threads. Uh, that's going to clean up all right. And, uh, you know, we... You know, I think it's going to turn out fine. And, you know, we just we want to make sure that we're going to get it sealed up between here. And, uh, you know, I think that that's going to work out. I think I can go to go a little bit farther with it. And uh, I think it'll work out just fine. And, you know, it, it looks really thin in here, but it, it widens out. So it's it's actually pretty thick. Uh, you know, it's not bad. There's a few, you know, places on the edges that are, are thin, but that's, it's not a problem. And... Uh, so we'll go on and, and keep working on this and uh, it would have been nice if it would have been a little nicer but you know to start with but you know that takes all the fun out of it we we kind of like it when uh, when you got a few obstacles in the way uh, you know that's why I don't don't really care to build from blueprints anyone that has uh, done production work on a online in a factory or something would understand I feel the same way about uh, blueprints, you know, it, it's just uh, It's not the same thing and you know, I'd rather You know do it the hard way here and you know, we'll learn as we go and figure it out as we go and uh, Like I said so far, I think I think we're doing all right. I think it's gonna come out just fine and uh, We just need to, to keep at it here and uh, you know, I can't take much off of this machine I'm only running one belt on it and and uh, just taking our time but uh, I'll see if I can go ahead and get it, the rest of it finished up this evening and and uh, show you what it looks like when we're done and then uh, maybe we can start fabricating some stuff for it. Okay folks, uh, got it all finished up here. I've got some mill marks i got to get out of it. Uh, nothing major. And uh, you can see we've got some pitting here. But... Uh, where our wall is at is sorted to this side so I don't see it as a problem at all of sealing up you know there's quite a few here and there but I think we've, we're gonna have enough surface no problem to seal up uh, could be worse could be a lot better but could be worse but I think that's gonna work for us uh, I'll go ahead and get it finished off uh, I'd love to have a surface grinder we wouldn't wouldn't have to worry about it but I don't have one so we'll just uh, we'll work with it I've got a big file or uh, or I can sand it I mean we'll, we'll get it one way or the other and uh, I picked up a plate here I found that is what's going to be the bottom for our, uh, for our steam chest now this is a half inch plate and one of the reasons I'm going to go with half inch is the way these ports are, <coughs> excuse me, the way these exhaust ports have got to run, I can't bore down inside like I did on our Myers pump. Uh, you know, we're going to have to get a little creative with them and uh, actually come out through the plate. So we may uh, slot the plate just like we did on the Myers. You know, and there'll be one in the center, one on each end. But we'll slot the plate and then we'll actually go and drill inside the side of the plate it's a half inch so I mean if we do maybe two quarter inch holes that would uh, on each side that would you know be adequate we gotta figure out where we're gonna run the exhaust uh, you know I don't think I'm gonna run it through here I mean I probably could but we'll figure that out as we go uh, but I mean that, that took a little time with this machine to get to get it down to what we've got and like I said she's still a little rough even you know where I milled it uh, I had to move my cutter you know it's it's out here now I had it in here and I I didn't set up right I should have uh, realized I wasn't gonna be able to move the table far enough so I had to stop in the middle and move the cutter over and uh, you can see I got a little bit just a little bit different height but I mean you can barely feel it but you know that'll all come out not a problem but I, you know I, all in all I think it's gonna be alright we uh, you can see how close we are to our, our front pieces but uh, you know, we'll figure that out. That's actually, I think they've done a really good job of brazing that in. I don't know why they had JB Weld over it. I don't see how it could have leaked. Uh, you know, they they actually done a real good job. So, you know, we're going to leave it at that and we'll 
we'll finish that surface up and uh, we'll get started on the steam chest and you know in the bottom and get the lead poured and all that and uh, and you know on this one when we get the when we get the steam chest on what we'll do is we'll separate it in the center and then there will be you know one slide valve on each side and uh, but I think I'm going to call it a night on it and you know we may have time tomorrow evening to work on it and we may not so we'll see how it turns out but uh, we'll make another part when we get to the next bye